Find out the strength of the opposition. Drive into the suburbs of Damascus. We had no idea what we discovered. We found the Free Syria Army, deserters from the president's forces and local men, securing Sakba, a poor district on the edge of the city. They said they were protecting the people who were about to hold a funeral. They looked well established here with sandbag firing positions. Everyone was on edge. For 10 months, the regime's forces have been cracking down hard on Friday protests. This commander, Osama, said he'd been a general in the Syrian government forces. A man interrupted to praise the free army. Then, something no one wanted to hear. Where? Security coming. Don't be afraid, said General Osama. Our resistance is strong. Some of them got ready to fight. Stay with me, said Osama. Don't be afraid. Sentries were sending an information by phone. They all seemed to know what their jobs were, going to their positions and others moving deeper into Sakta, where the funeral had started. It felt as if every man in Sakta was there. A big send-off for Mazen Abu Dahab, who'd been killed by the security forces. Across Syria, funerals are a focus for opposition. They chanted, Oh God, you're all we have. Oh God, we are your men. This is another section of the suburbs of Damascus which has slipped out of the control of President Assad. The only way that he can enforce his authority here is by sending in his men and using their guns and their bullets. And for a moment, that's what they thought was about to happen. It shows the tension, even with the free Syria army close by. It was time for us to go. He warned about snipers ahead. Getting out was not easy. The free army controlled a surprisingly big area, but it was surrounded. All this does not mean that the president is about to fall. He has his own strong support and heavy weapons. But the regime's forces can't be everywhere at once, and the power of the opposition is growing. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Damascus.